So well, this is a video response uh, to Coyote 238 on my five favorite pieces of outdoor gear. So anyway, stick with me and uh, we'll walk on down the road here and maybe cook us up some lunch. See you in a bit. This little saw right here is a Buffalo Laplander and uh, I'll start out, that's my first favorite thing to take into the woods with me. Uh, this is a new one, but uh, I mean they don't cost but $20, $19, something like that. But uh, man they are just so sharp. But that's a good little saw to bring with you there. And uh, anyway, that's, that's my number one thing I like to take into the woods with me. Okay, that ought to do us pretty good. Good bird nest. You want to make sure all the dust is gone, because that's going to stop your fire. All she wants the fibers. See these fibers right there? That's good. The smoke like that is the dust. So we'll just beat that dust out of it. That'll let the air get into them fibers and it'll catch on real quick. Success. Here's a little knife I picked up. This will probably be my second favorite thing. Uh, I bought this at a flea mart. I don't even know what brand it is, but it, it looks like a little steak knife. But man, I tell you what, I've had this for years and I've used it for everything from construction to skinning squirrels and filleting fish. Sometimes the things that uh, are worth the most to you aren't really worth a lot. <laughs> You know, it might be a sentimental thing given down from your dad to you, or, or a friend, or, you know, your mom, or somebody. But, uh, you know, like this old thing here, $5 at a flea mart. But I've just taken it with me everywhere, and, uh, man, it does a good job, holds a good edge, and uh, does everything I need. So, anyway, that's my second item I like taking with me there. So, let's get back to cooking. Now, this here, I've got the butter in here, and uh, some onions, and, man, I tell you what... You could smell them already. They're good. So let's get it on the fire. It makes it taste better. Well, my third favorite piece of equipment that I like to take with me is uh, my fishing rod. I got a takedown fishing rod. And, uh, you know, when I hike, I usually uh, go when it's squirrel season or during fishing season, and I'll hike pretty good ways back to a creek or something. And, uh, but anyway, I just made this tube up here, and uh, then I've got a, a five-piece takedown rod that I keep in here. I'll show it to you. I know you've seen it before in some old videos, but that's it right there. I guess the fourth thing I like to bring in the woods is uh, this uh, little Stanley 20-ounce pot. And, you know, that's just good enough for one of the ramen noodles or a nice big cup of coffee or or hot chocolate or whatever so it's got the top I'll show it to you it's got the top where it's got the little vents so if you want to pour out you can pour out without uh, you can pour out without spilling your contents out but man that just does really good if it's in my pack well it cradles in my cup uh, but uh, it does real good, so that's my fourth thing. Well, it's 
it's going to be a good coffee there. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. I mean, that looks so good. Hmm. I guess the fourth thing that I like about the best would be that little sterno stove I got from my dad. And I've taken that thing out for decades. And if you want a quick fire, you know, to cook something up or heat something up, then just pop that top and light it and you're going. So I bring that one a lot with me when I'm in my canoe. And uh, I can go back in a cove and maybe just heat something up to eat. And, uh, you know, that little sterno stove, it just has a small flame like an alcohol burner. Uh, and it does real good. So that would be the last item that uh, is my favorite thing to take into the woods. So there's my video response to Coyote 238. And I appreciate you including me, my friend. And uh, let's see, I'm supposed to uh, get some other folks to do it too. So what I'll do is I'll put a list at the end of this video. My tags are Bluegrass Bushcraft, Bushcraft Bartons, William Larkham Jr., South Alabama Outdoorsman and Waypoint Survival and these guys go from all the way down to the Gulf all the way up into Canada and uh, have some good knowledge so I can't wait to see what they post as their five favorite items also I'm going to put the links to their uh, their sites down at the bottom there uh, so feel free to go down there and click on them and subscribe to them well God bless you all and I'll see you on the next episode of the KY Woodsman goodbye